So, you want to make a squad map, and you're almost there. You've gotten your content all figured out, your map is done, whatever. But you want to upload it to the workshop. Uh, and to do that, you have to obviously move it to its plugin folder and upload it from there. So, when doing this, it appears that some people um, are a bit confused about the actual process of doing this. Um, it's not super complicated or anything, but what people get confused about is uh, whether or not they can move stuff through Windows Explorer, um, which is understandable considering that you normally you can. Um, in a lot of programs, it doesn't matter where you move them. However, in UE4, um, what you'll find is that moving things in Windows Explorer has a wonderful tendency to absolutely destroy your content, uh, whether it be a map or a, or a gameplay mod or whatever. It's just going to break it. Um, and I thought I'd explain the reasons behind this so that way you understand it from a base level rather than just understanding what you need to do without understanding why you're doing it. So when you're working in UE4, every asset, um, it doesn't matter what it is, it can be a particle effect, it can be a texture, a map, um, a blueprint, anything, it has a, a specific reference path. Um, and this is a place where the, the item sits, that is its file path, basically. Um, and this file path starts from the content folder. So let's go to environments, uh, military, and let's take the, the porta potty, for instance. Um, you'll see that it has a path. Um, and if we look at this reference viewer, this is its path. So game is the same as content, basically. Um, but then it's environments, military, portable toilet, that is its reference. Um, so anything that uses this model will be referencing that path. The model doesn't have any kind of, uh, like, uh, ID assigned to it. It's just using that path. Um, so you'll see on Albazra, um, this, this portable toilet is referenced. And from Albazra, all that it's referencing, it's not like some kind of like specific code individual to this model. It's just referencing the place where this model is currently stored. So, as you can imagine, if I were to suddenly take this model and move it somewhere else in Explorer, it would break everything because the map would be looking for the place where it used to be and it would be like, there's nothing here. So it would give you an error and it wouldn't show any portable toilets. Um, and that's why moving your map through Explorer breaks stuff is because when you move it to the plugin folder, suddenly the root of your stuff is not game anymore, it's content, or sorry, instead of content, it is plugins. Um, and because of that, everything will break. Everything, really everything that you're referencing inside your mod folder from your map or whatever will break because it all got moved. Um, the vanilla content you were using will probably be fine because it's still where it's supposed to be. Um, but anything that you moved will likely break. So the way that you can get around this is, uh, instead of going into, like, say, Explorer and moving it from here, what you can do is you move it directly from whatever folder it's in, and it's very simple. All you have to do is, let's say I have my test mod here, um, and I had a modified version of this toilet. So let's duplicate this, and we'll make a minor change to it for something or other. Um, and you only have to copy modified content. I will make another our video on this very soon covering what you do and don't have to copy to your mod folder because uh, that seems to be another point of confusion. Uh, but let's see, let's say I want to turn this down to 1 instead of 1.5 for the, the LOD distance for LOD 0 uh, and save that. So from there uh, what you can do is just move it within UE4. So I just Click it, drag it, go to here, let go of the mouse, and click move. And what this will do is, it will take it out of here, move it to here, and now if I had a map that was referencing this, it would update the, uh, the references in the map to this new location. Which means that when you open your map, it won't be broken because the map will be ref referencing the new location. However, if we go back for a minute, we go back to content, environments, military, um, and we open this, let's open this in Explorer really quick. 
you will find here, or you should find at least, a... Oh, it's, it doesn't have one. Um, let me move something that's actually being used. Like, let's move the actual one. Um, let's move this. So, you will find that when you move stuff like that, the reference for it, or the file for it, will still be here in Explorer, but it will be empty. It will be two kilobytes, usually. Um, the reason for this is because this asset is kind of a ghost asset. It's what's called a redirector, which basically means that the lazy way that UE4 likes to, to have stuff moved is when you move it, it keeps a file here in the folder that the map will still be pointing towards. And then what this file does is it just points towards the new location. So the map goes, all right, this is where my asset is. And it says, oh, well, look, there's a redirector here. What does it say? And the redirector says, it's in this new location. So that's how it does it the lazy way, um, which is fine for some applications. But in your case, you want all of your stuff to be pointing directly to your plugin folder. So what you can do to fix this, um, if it breaks anything, is just go to the folder that your asset was in um, before you moved it, right click, and click fix up redirectors and folders. Um, now when I click this it might mess a bunch of stuff up because yeah there's probably a bunch of stuff in there that's being referenced. But what that does is it goes into each individual asset that your moved asset was saved in um, and it basically just updates all the references to the new location the right way and it resaves them. So depending on what you're moving it might take a whole long time. Like. By doing that, I'm going to have to open and resave Albazra, and I recently deleted my cache, so that's going to take about three and a half hours. So I'm not going to subject you to that. However, I hope this gives you a better understanding of, of why you should move stuff within UE4 rather than using the you know external Windows file system. Um, because when Windows moves stuff, it's just moving a file without any regard as to how UE4 is going to handle it. Um, so I hope this helps some people understand a bit better. Uh, that's all I have for now. Bye-bye.